Developing right now, we're learning more about why convicted wife killer Drew Peterson was moved to a federal prison in another state. Good evening. I'm Erica Sargent. And I'm Rob Johnson. Tonight, Peterson is settling into his new home, a high security prison in Terre Haute, Indiana. CBS 2's Audrina Vegas live in the control room with answers to the big question why? Audrina, why? Rob and Erica, Drew Peterson's attorney tells me tonight that Peterson is not facing any new charges. So experts say a security threat of some kind may be the reason for the move, but there is another option. The former Bolingbrook policeman and convicted killer went on a more than 200 mile journey today. Drew Peterson went from downstate Illinois to the Stateville Correctional Center in Joliet, where he was assigned a U.S. prisoner ID number, and then to Terre Haute, most likely in the maximum security penitentiary. For him, it's going to be a good move. Meaning better conditions inside the prison and being closer to home, says CBS2 legal analyst Irv Miller. Where he was at down in Menard, you're dealing with murderers, rapists, I mean, you're dealing with violent criminals. He is a former police officer. They had to watch out for him. There could have been a threat to his safety, say the experts. He's too hot to handle in the Illinois state system. They want to get him out of state and they want to get him in a very secure facility. A facility with restricted movement and experience with high profile people. But there are two other options for the move from state to federal custody. He may be a witness on some important federal case that they need him to testify or he may be indicted on a federal case, which he needs to stand trial. CBS 2 cameras caught Peterson as he walked into court for a 2009 hearing. He's serving 38 years for the 2004 killing of his third wife, Kathleen Savio. Then 40 years were added to his sentence after he tried to put a hit on the Will County State's attorney who got him convicted. We reached out to the Bureau of Prisons, the Department of Corrections, and the U.S. Marshal. No one could give us a reason for this move. Live in the control room, Audrina Vegas, CBS 2 News. Rob and Erica. All right, Audrina, thank you.